Hello everyone and welcome back to Vitally Veg. On today's recipe, we are going to do cheesy vegan quinoa mushroom enchiladas with a homemade red sauce as well. This recipe is smoky and it's crowd pleasing. Let's get started. First, we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. First, I'm going to wash and drain one and a half cups of quinoa. Then I'm going to grab a large or medium sized rice cooker and add that to the pot like so. Next, I have about eight ounces of mushrooms, two cloves of garlic, and half a large yellow onion. Go ahead and chop those up like so. And we're gonna go ahead and also add those to the rice cooker, just like that. Next, I have a 12 ounce can of chipotle peppers and adobo. I'm gonna pick between one pepper and three, depending on how spicy I want it, and I'm just gonna dice those up. Go ahead and add as many chipotle peppers as you want, but I wouldn't do more than three if I were you. After that, I have a teaspoon of oregano and half a teaspoon of chili powder. Then I have a 15 ounce can of washed and drained black beans. I'm just gonna add in. And finally, I have three cups of veggie broth. You can also use vegan chickenless broth too. I'm just gonna go ahead and give that a good stir until everything is well combined. Next, we're gonna salt and pepper this to taste. So I got my salt, and I'm gonna add in some freshly ground black pepper. Once you're done seasoning it, go ahead and start your rice cooker on your white rice option, which should take about 15 to 20 minutes, and it should be fluffy and look like this once it's done. Next, I'm going to grab a 9 by 13 inch baking pan, and I'm just gonna grease that and a medium sized skillet. I'm gonna heat that on medium high and grab my package of large corn tortillas and I'm just gonna heat that you don't even have to grease it one to two minutes on each side so that they're hot and they're malleable and I'm gonna let that cool once it's done just for 30 seconds so I can handle it and we're gonna make the enchiladas so I'm gonna take about a quarter of a cup of filling here Next, I have two bags of vegan shreds. I'm just gonna take about an eighth of a cup and put that in as well. And go ahead and just fold that over. It doesn't have to be perfect and put the seam side down. And go ahead and repeat that until the filling is mostly gone or the pan is full. If you have any extra filling, it's great in burritos. All right, now my pan is full. I'm going to take five cups of homemade vegan enchilada sauce. I have a recipe on the website. It's really good. I recommend it. You can also use store-bought, but it's not as good. I promise. All right, once that's done, go ahead and add the other half um, of the vegan cheese. And it should look like that. All right, it's ready to bake. So we're going to go ahead and put that in at 350 again and bake that for 25 to 30 minutes or until it's hot all the way through and the cheese is melted. Once that's done, cool and enjoy. All right, everyone, that was cheesy vegan mushroom and quinoa enchiladas. I hope you guys try this recipe out and don't forget to like and subscribe and check out vitallyveg.com for more recipes. I'll see you guys next time.